So I was uh, unfortunate enough to have a severe pneumonia and blood clots on the lungs earlier this year, which required me to be admitted to my own intensive care unit for a period of time, um, which was uh, quite a confronting experience. We understand that from the intensive care environment point of view, it's a harrowing space. There's monitors continuously, there's beeps and bongs. It's too dark during the day to read, it's too light during the night to sleep. We measured the alarms in the intensive care over 30 days and there was 600,000 alarms. So we have to do better. Our patients are actually getting sicker in the intensive care. So we're very fortunate to be uh, awarded a grant by the Wesley Research Institute. This is a very exciting project. It's uh, looking at artificial intelligence and how we can uh, utilise and harness that technology uh, for the benefit of our patients. Um, it's a very exciting collaboration between clinicians, researchers, scientists and mathematicians um, trying to investigate um, and assess ways that we can take the whole of the information that gets presented to us as clinicians in the ICU, hopefully distill that down, maybe remove some of the noise to get the key pertinent facts that we can then use to identify potential patient problems um, and enact therapy in a, in a more rapid time frame. So this is an early warning system. Using data, using waveforms that's already there, and all we're doing is teaching the existing computers and the existing software to notice a pattern way before our human eye can. So just a, a huge thanks to the Wesley Research Institute for uh, enabling this grant round and enabling uh, researchers such as myself uh, to be able to access these um, much needed funds to be able to carry out our very important clinical research.